going to get interesting. What I find about interesting about New York is uh, they just feel like they've gotten nickel and dime this year. Like it hasn't been much right. of a winter, right? Yeah. Right. They're six inches up for the above climatological fall. average for snow. Yeah. And that spring feels weird, starts right? Next week. Spring starts in a couple of days. Yeah. We're going to look for more snow. All right, let's talk a little bit. But there is a pattern change coming up. Uh, it's going to be significant, I think, Doc. Yeah, exactly, Mike. Uh, no rain over here in the West Coast because right now we've warm. I'm talking actually pretty warm. This is more typical for like May. And that high pressure is going to switch off to the east. So we're looking at maybe some warmer temperatures up in Atlanta. And we'll be talking about that coming up after the break. That, just a bit of the weather that played out this week with the winter weather making up a lot of the story. Winter Storm Stella, of course. Thanks for staying with us here on Weather Underground. I'm Mike Bettis. Alex Wilson has the evening off. Tom Nizzle's here. Erica Navarro's here. Brandon Wright, our weather producer tonight. So we've got a lot of things to talk about. Now, Stella's in the next week. Get a pattern that could prove that. Yeah, exactly. It is kind of wild how all of these things are connected in that way. But that's that's really how it goes. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And so now looking into later next week. So this is kind of far on the outskirts here. But so there's a lot of uncertainty still associated with this. But it's looking like things are coming together that we could see some severe weather returning to the central plains. So we are watching this very energetic upper level disturbance starting to make its way into the plains. And so this has a lot of strong wind associated with it. And so when you have the strong winds up above and also strong winds down at the surface, you get a lot of spin. You get a lot of shear, as we call it. And that helps to create that severe weather potential. We also have a ton of Gulf moisture in place. And so right in this region here behind the warm front, we call that the warm sector. That's where the action is. And that's where we're looking to, we are expecting to see possibly some scattered thunderstorms and possibly even some severe weather systems. So those are your rotating supercells, maybe some hail, possibly even some tornadoes. Again, we are looking at the potential for that to come into play. And so, Mike, unfortunately, it looks like we may be moving back to an active pattern here across parts of the central plant.